everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. Today I've got a beautiful card to show you that features the Queen Bee stamp set, and I'm using lots of other products today as well. The first thing I want to point out is the Hues of Happiness Designer Series paper. This is retiring with our current annual catalog, um, and as of right now, whatever today is, March the 23rd, it's on low inventory, which means when it sells out, that's probably it. We probably won't get any more. So if you love that paper, hopefully it's still there when you want it. Um, the other thing I want to show you are the radiating st radiating stitches dies. These are online exclusive. That means that you won't find them in a catalog anywhere. They're only available online. And we're going to use this one and this one today. Really fun dies. They cut out and they put these little lines in the... Um, rectangles or the, the shapes, and it just gives it some texture and some interest. Um, the other thing that I'm using are the Happiness Abounds dies. This is the bundle that coordinates with that paper, and I have used this die right here to cut the flower out of the designer series paper. You can always fussy cut, but if you don't like to fussy cut, get those dies, and it'll cut those flowers out straight out of the paper for you. All right, well, let's get started. We're going to need grid paper. I always forget to get my grid paper out, you guys. This is grid paper for your stamparatus. I love this grid paper. It's little. And we're going to start with our smaller Highland Heather rectangle. Um, this stamp set comes with some like textured stamps. Te not textured. Um, maybe like grunge. Remember when grunge was real popular? Some grunge kind of just to give it some kind of distressed look. And I'm going to stamp in Highland Heather, then stamp off, and then stamp. That way, the ink is a lot lighter. It's not so, you know, bright in your face. Um, and it's just going to kind of blend into the background. All right, so I've just stamped it a couple of times, kind of randomly. Now I'm going to take this little splatter, and this is very small, and I'm not going to stamp off, just, just to kind of give us a little bit of variation. Okay, now I'm going to take one of our new small blending brushes, which I love, 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 love. And I'm just going to kind of ink those edges. You can do it like that. You can do it like this. One thing I like to do is kind of hit my grid paper first so that that first hard bump of ink isn't on my cardstock. It's actually on the, you know, the grid paper. All right, so ink that up. I love inking the edges of cardstock. That's kind of an old school technique, but I still love it and I still use it. All right, we've got that done. Now let's stamp our B and our sentiment. And you guys are probably gonna laugh at me as I try to stamp the sentiment together. I mounted my stamps a little crooked, so it takes a little bit of practice. Um, the B, Knight of Navy, and the stamps. Now, <laughs> remember guys, you can always use your Stamparatus and you probably have better luck and you can also be better at putting your stickers on your stamps than me. The first thing I'm gonna do is stamp it on my grid paper to see how it stamps. See how it, it curves down a little bit? I mounted it crooked. So this time I'm gonna stamp it just up a little bit. Okay, so I just you know lifted my wrist. Now this is the tricky part, getting this one close enough and straight. <laughs> that wasn't very good, was it? Let's try that again. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Well, not too bad. Let's try it again down here. We've got lots of cardstock to play with. Let's see, maybe I'll have better luck like that. Uh, I don't really like that one. All right. So, you know, if you fail the first time, just keep trying. Okay, I'm gonna pull it down so I can get it right in my face. Oh, that one's not good either. Should we stick with that one? Should I try it one more time? I'm not I'm not making this look very easy, am I? All right, let's see. I'm gonna get right down here and stamp. Hey, there we go. Fourth time's a charm. Not bad. <laughs> perfect? No. Is it ever perfect? No. If you want a perfect card, run to your Hallmark and buy a $10 perfect card. Or you can make one with your beautiful supplies that your friends will appreciate and no one will care 
if your birthday is a little crooked. <laughs> now, hey, that's my philosophy. If you feel differently, we have tools. We have the stamp apparatus that you can get out, play around with. It's a great stamp positioning tool. But sometimes I'm just lazy and I just, I'm just gonna stamp it five times until I get it right, or four times. All right, we've got a little bee, so cute. This stamp set also has a big bee, which I think is the star of the stamp set. And I realized that in my projects this week for my Facebook Live, I only used the big bee one time. And I, she's, she's a queen. I think she deserves more than that. Now, I will have some bonus projects on my blog after my Facebook Friday. So make sure you check those out. I forgot to cut out our little honeycomb. I've got some gold foil. And I'm gonna run this through here, like that, a couple of times. And I'm gonna get those little, see the little things that are left over? I wanna save those. So I'm gonna just, I don't need all of them. We need about five maybe. So I'm just gonna get those and put them in a little pile over here. Let's see how many, we only need, well we need three of these honeycombs, but we only need about that many dots. So you don't need to save all of them. They look like little sequins that you can glue on your project. Now this one, here's another thing. Sometimes it stays together like this and you can adhere it onto your project like that, which I have done. And I think that's really pretty too. Either way, will work. All right, last one. And then we'll put our project our card together. Did I? What happened? What did I do? Where did that one come from? Was it still stuck in the die? Wow. And it's still stuck. It's still cut beautifully. Maybe that's why those stayed in so well the second time. All right, get all of those out of there. Boy, now we've got a party. And bring over your card base. This is gorgeous grape. And we've got our radiating stitches, um, Highland Heather rectangle. See those stitch lines? It's really fun. Different kind of stitch lines than the normal stitching along the edge. All right, I'm gonna put that there. And I'm gonna take another piece of this um, Hues of Happiness designer series paper. The measurements for this card are on a free PDF on my blog, so make sure you check it out. And then we're gonna take this, and we're gonna use lots of dimensionals. So let me grab my dimensional sheet, which is over here. And we're gonna put that, one more, right here. Get our big flower that I cut out. Remember we use the Abounds, Happiness Abounds dies to cut the flower from the Hues of Happiness designer series paper. All right, and I'm gonna take a dimensional and put it on the right side of my sentiment and then just some regular adhesive over here on the left side because I'm gonna stick it and it's gonna, this has a dimensional and this has a dimensional. And right here, if we put a dimensional, it would be raised up kind of crooked. So we want it to be flat. So now, very carefully with just a little bit of Tombow. You wanna glue these down. We're gonna just tuck them in so that they're coming from behind. Okay, one more, and this one's pretty hidden on my original card. We're gonna stick that right there. Now, I'm gonna put a itty bitty 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 dot for these little tiny sequins that we made. And then use your take your pick tool to set them down. Sometimes these little bitty things don't wanna let go. So you can take your scissors and just kind of tap them down. One more. There we go. Now we need our little B, which is going to need a mini dimensional. You can use our take your pick tool for that guy too. And now a bow, and I am using our 
balmy blue and white. What is it called? Two-tone variegated ribbon. I made up the two-tone part. It's just variegated. All right, so now this ribbon is tricky. Don't tie your knot too tight because you're gonna wanna pull these ends. And if you tie it tight, for some reason, this ribbon doesn't slide very well. So get them kind of short and then just adjust. We don't want it too big. Okay, grab those scissors, cut those ends at an angle. It's gonna be down here at the bottom, so you don't want them too long. It's a very lightweight ribbon, so they will tuck into your envelope. All right, now we've got the front done. Oh no, yeah we do, yeah we do. I was thinking we forgot this, but I just have that extra laying around. Let's do the inside. All right, all I am doing on the inside is taking a strip of this beautiful paper and we'll just put it down like this. You could cut a few honeycombs if you want. I think I'll take the B and stamp it over here like that. And then we'll put it on the inside. And there you have it, a beautiful birthday card using the Queen Bee Bundle. Now I've got other projects featuring this bundle, so make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop over to my blog, and check it out. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.